Hi, it's Becky, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. Today's video is a boots haul. So I did that thing where you go into boots for one thing and you come out with more than one thing. So if you want to see what I got, keep on watching. So the first thing I got, which is what I actually went into boots to get, was this mirror. I've actually got one of these already, but it's broken. I've had it for like four years and it's only just broken. Basically the little like knob bit that you use to turn the light on has just come off and I couldn't fix it. So I thought I'll buy a new one. They have this in the rose gold and in silver and I think they used to have it in black. I did want to get the black version, but when I went in, this should be 49.99 and it was reduced down to 19.99. So I went for the rose gold option again because love some savings but basically this mirror is really good it's just a mirror and it illuminates it's got a side that is just normal and then it's got a magnified side as well so you can get up close and personal and have a look at what you're doing i always use this mirror to do my makeup day or night it doesn't matter because the light really does help even if it's daylight turning on this light just helps to do your makeup properly. The actual mirror part as well, you can move it around so it's all adjustable. The only thing that's wrong with my one is the light no longer works. The light is really handy, so yeah, bought a new one. Next up, I picked up some shampoo and conditioner. So I picked up the Maui Moisture Hair Care Smooth and Revive Vanilla Beam Shampoo and the same in the conditioner. I wanted to try out another shampoo and conditioner for when I'm leaving my hair curly. And when I'm leaving my hair curly, I like to use things that haven't got any silicones or sulfates in. And this brand hasn't got any, it says no mineral oils, no silicones, no SLS, no sulfate, no synthetic dyes, no ales. I don't know why you put ale in there, but okay. Uh, yes, vegan, yes, pure coconut water, and yes, pure aloe juice. And it smells so, so nice. Um, when my hair is curly, it is so, so frizzy, and it's just it is a bit unruly so I thought I'd try this for frizzy and unruly hair and see how I get on oh and these were $8.99 each which I don't think is that bad for a good shampoo and conditioner if they are a good shampoo and conditioner next up I got this sanctuary spa purifying charcoal shower burst it smells really good and it's got on here as well that it's a long-lasting fragrance I think that's so important with a shower gel that it lasts on your skin. I hate it when you've got a really, really nice shower gel, but as soon as you step out the shower, you literally can't smell it. Also, I think it's kind of like that foamy shower gel. Uh, I obviously don't want to spray it out here, but it looks like it's that foamy shower gel, which I, I just much prefer those. I started using the sort of more foamy shower gels rather than the like liquid ones that you foam up, and I just prefer how it feels on your skin. I just think it feels more moisturizing and nourishing. Next up, I grabbed a new razor, so the Gillette Venus Comfort Glide Spa Breeze Razor. I have already got one of these razors, but it's quite old now. Um, obviously, you change the head, but the actual like razor bit is quite old now, um, and it's falling apart a little bit. And this was reduced from £7.99 to £3.95, so it's better than half price. But yeah, it was really good. I was going to pick up some shaver heads as well, but the actual shaver heads were like 11 quid because they were not on offer. So I thought I'd just pick up this at the moment. I know I've got some shaver heads in there and then I'll pick up some shaver heads when they are also on an offer. And then next up I got a shampoo bar. So I got the Ultimate Blends Shampoo Bar by Garnier. And this is zero plastic waste. It lasts up to two months. I've used a shampoo bar before, but I've not used a shampoo bar from like a well-known brand. Uh, so I just kind of bought it to see if it was any good. The shampoo bar that I've used before, it didn't really lather up properly, I didn't really like how it smelled. This already, I can smell it, it smells really good and hopefully it will be a bit more lathery. So I'll let you know how I got on with this. And this is just $7.99 which is really good, especially if it can last for up to two months. Next up I got a couple of face masks, so they're both Garnier Skin Active face masks and one is the Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask and one is the Moisture Bomb Nighttime Mask. I love having a selection of different masks, different hair treatments, and just different things to play around with when I'm having a pamper night, rather than just sticking with the same mask over and over again, which I know is probably not the best thing for my skin, but I just, I like having 
a little bit of a change every now and then. They were both reduced from 2 dollars down to 1 dollars so saved a quid on each of them, which is not bad. I also like the sort of tissue sheet masks where then you don't have to wash it off, clean up afterwards. It's just you put it on, you pull it back off, you rub the product in. Sometimes on my pamper nights I'm a bit lazy and I can't be actually asked to put on a proper face mask and wipe it off because it can get everywhere. So if I'm on a lazy pamper night, they're the kind of masks I'll use. Next up I've got some more skin products. So I've got the Botanics All Bright Facial Oil. So this just says it will help to improve uneven skin tone and texture. I recently had a lot of acne, which I spoke about in a previous video. Um, and the acne has calmed right down, but my skin texture is still a little bit uneven. So I thought something like this might really help to just kind of get my skin texture back to a good place. And this one you use in the morning and it says it will give you brighter looking skin for up to 12 hours. And then from the Botanics range, again, I got the Overnight Facial Oil. I have used this facial oil before and I really, really like it. It's got lavender in it, so it smells really nice and relaxing before you go to bed. When I used this before, I just felt like it was a really nice kind of extra step to take before bed where you feel like you're giving your skin that extra moisture, but also it helps you to feel more relaxed. Especially as it's an oil, you kind of have to take the time rubbing it into your skin, give yourself a little face massage, and yeah, I just really like the scent of lavender before bed, so it's nice. And then the Botanics range was actually on a three for two, so I also got this, this Simply Calm Hydrating Overnight Mask. Like I said about the face masks earlier, sometimes I feel quite lazy with a face mask and I can't really be asked to wash it off. So if you have an overnight sleep mask, that to me is perfect. You put it on and you don't have to wash it off until the morning. This is specifically to calm skin. So I said as well about the acne on my face and I feel like when I get a bit more of a flare up, this might be quite nice to just sort of calm it down and hopefully reduce some of the redness and things like that. I've not used this before, so I'm not sure how good it's gonna be, but I'm looking forward to using it and I will let you know what I think. Um, the overnight oil was 11.49. The sleep mask was 11.99. The all bright facial oil was 8.99. So on the three for two, I saved 8.99 on that. And the next thing I got is actually a dry brush. So I've been looking for one of these for ages. Um, this one is from the Botanics range again. It's got a little handle on it and then it's just the brush. This was £6.50 and when you dry brush it helps with circulation, helps to reduce cellulite. There are loads of benefits to dry brushing so I wanted to give it a go and to give it a go you needed a dry brush. So that is why I bought this. And then next up I got the Revolution XX Brow Pencil. So I haven't actually tried this eyebrow pencil but I wanted to give it a go. And firstly, I love the packaging. I think it looks so nice. And rather than like a little spoolie, it's kind of got this tiny, tiny little brush. The pencil as well comes up with the twisty top. The color is pretty good, it is like a dark brown, which is perfect. It looks like it's gonna stay on pretty well, like I'm rubbing it. I've literally only just put that on, I'm rubbing it and it's not coming off. Um, so that might actually just be something in, to bear in mind that it probably isn't gonna be very blendy. This is just six pounds, which I think is pretty good for an eyebrow brush. It does say creamy buildable brow pencil. I wouldn't say it's that creamy. It's definitely buildable because I did one line and it was really faint. I put it above and it was less faint. But the little brush that comes with it, I really like that. That's different and yeah, nice. And finally, the slightly boring part of my boots haul. I got some multi gummy vitamins, some cod liver oil, and some Barocca. Again, these were on three for two, so the Barocca I actually got for free. These were £12.50. These were £9.50. And the Barocca was £5. Normally when I do the three for two thing, I try and get things a lot more similar priced. I only popped into Boots before I started work, so I wasn't actually gonna be in there that long. So I didn't really have time to do the shopping around part. But if you do go and get the three for two, obviously try and get things around the same price because they'll always take the cheapest one off. So if you buy two things that are like 20 quid and then you buy one thing that's two pound, you've only saved two pound. So that is everything that I picked up from Boots. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to see more hauls. If there are any other videos you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments below and I will try and do those for you. I hope you're having a beautiful day, whatever you are doing, and I will see you in next Sunday's video. Bye.